Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something really important to discuss in the world of jailbreaking, specifically related to iOS 9.3. Earlier today, Apple seeded the first beta iteration of 9.3 to registered developers. It comes with some really awesome changes, including a feature that adds full flux-like functionality. It is called Night Shift, and if you happen to miss either of my other videos from today, I will have both of them linked for you guys directly on your screens in the cards, and I will actually have this one down below in the more info. I'm going to talk about it more in just a second, but first we have to go over the news that prompted this video. So remember Luca Tedesco, he's back at it. I have made a couple of videos recently discussing some things related to him. He is a developer who has contributed to the jailbreak community in the past, particularly the last jailbreak, the iOS 9 through 9.0.2 jailbreak from Pangu. He aided in the creation of that because they did give him credit officially on Twitter. Well, now according to this latest tweet, it just has a link to a YouTube video. He has success achieved a jailbreak on iOS 9.3 on his iPhone 6 and I'm not going to play it directly in this video and you'll know why in just a second so essentially what he does is he just proves that he's on iOS 9.3 and he goes into the display and brightness night shift feature that I just showed you guys on that iPod touch and then Cydia is opened and scroll down to the bottom to confirm that it is on 9.3 with the bottom identifying text and he wraps it up just with a quick demo of mobile terminal all while running a theme through Windows board to essentially prove that he does have Cydia Substrate working. And unfortunately, this isn't the first time that Luca has taken to Twitter to flaunt what he's achieved. Remember this recent video where I discussed a screenshot he posted on Twitter, essentially showing that he has jailbroken iOS 9.2.1? Let's go ahead and just open that up for quick reference here. We're going to open inside of Safari, and you'll notice he says, all hail great leader, no releases. So for that iOS 9.2.1 jailbreak, he had absolutely no plans of releasing it. That's very important. And the reason that's so important is because when we're on today's iOS 9.3 tweet and we scroll down just a little bit to where he's actually conversing with a few different people on Twitter and kind of answering some questions, he says, quote, no way I could have jailbroken so quickly with diff or different bugs. So this essentially implies that he is using the exact same vulnerabilities and exploiting them to achieve a jailbreak similar to what he did with iOS 9.2.1. And backing out even further here, there is one other very important tweet as well, and it's this reply, essentially confirming that it's not a fail break. But remember when I discussed what a fail break essentially is in my video talking about his alleged iOS 9.2.1 jailbreak? See, he's referring to the other definition of a fail break here, the kind where it actually doesn't work with substrate. However, he has proven that it does work with substrate because of winner board. But what we're actually talking about when we reference a fail break is a jailbreak that utilizes or requires requires a developer account to again achieve full root access and for that initial unsigned code execution because that's one of the hardest parts of creating a jailbreak is essentially escaping the sandbox and allowing your unsigned code to run and execute on iOS. So what have we learned here? First of all, Luca is not going to release it because essentially it's the exact same thing as the iOS 9.2.1 jailbreak. It utilizes the same bugs. And second of all, it probably is indeed a fail break in the sense that it relies on a developer account. So it can't be released anyway, aside from the legal ramifications that it would have if it ever saw the light of day, it would rely on a developer account. But see, there is a silver lining when talking about this. Luca has said that he's had the bugs for a few months now. And if they have persisted from iOS 9.2 all the way up through 9.2.1 and now 9.3, then that means whatever Taiji is working on has a very strong possibility of functioning successfully on iOS 9.3. And in my iOS 9.3 beta update video, I discuss which firmware Taiji will likely target for the release of their next untethered jailbreak. Again, iOS 9.2.1 or 9.3. If you happen to miss that, definitely check it out. Like I said before, it will be linked down below in the more info. And again, remember in that one, we're mostly focused on the developers that are actually going to release something, being Taiji as well as Pangu. Unfortunately, we are not going to see anything come out of Luca Tedesco. He knows that. We already know that. Again, he has confirmed it. So the question arises, is he becoming another Stefan Esser, aka Ionic? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos similar to this one covering various updates as well as developments in the world of jailbreaking and iOS, just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.